Hi, y'all. This is Born with a Veil, and this is your mini reading whenever you see it. Sun, Moon, Arising. You need a reading, 313-401-3707. So your first card is the Sink, okay? Um, in, this, in this deck, a whole completely different deck now, not the ones that you're used to. This is the Two of Swords, King of Swords, okay? And the key word is Ethnics. So the meaning is sometimes all choices presented to you seem bad, okay? But you need to make the best choice you can out of this situation and not feel guilty about what that means. You must execute your decision. All you can do is your best, Gemini. The worst thing you could do is not make a choice at all and continue to do what you're doing. Um, it's time to remove the unnecessary things from your life. Um, think these things through for all that they've given you and, but put them aside. You need, um, you no longer need them. Okay. Um, and the sinks of the challenges, what is the way out of a stalemate? So some of you are with a stalemate, Leo and I think I told you that, um, before, Okay, so you got to figure out what you're going to do with this uh, stalemate because they are a stalemate. Now, in this deck, you've got the moon. Uh, with the terror association is the moon. The key word is illusion. Okay, overshadowed by the bright sun, the moon perhaps is the second most powerful symbol in human culture. The sun lights the world, but it is the moon that pulls the tides and the water to the bodies, as well as the depths of imagination into our souls. The moon card is about turning around to see what's behind you, what you've missed by the bright light of the day or what lurks in the shadows of your psyche. Is your information good or true? Be doubtful. Something important is being hidden from you. Somebody's hiding something from you, Leo. I don't know what it could be. It could be a child. It could be another relationship. Uh, it could be about their past. It could be almost some shit that they're doing right now that they're hiding from you, okay? The moon's challenge. What can I see only by the light of the moon, okay? And the gypsy wisdom, the darkest hour is that day before dawn. So, this person is doing something, honey. And it could be at night that you don't know of. Could be selling drugs. Uh, could have another family somewhere, a love child. You need to check into that, Leo. Because my cards don't lie like that. There is definitely something that's going on with this person that you're with. Now, this is the clover leaf, okay? Tired Association 10, the Wheel of Fortune. In this deck, it's not the same as you're used to, to knowing. The key word is luck. Meaning, right now the universe is giving you a break. You are lucky and things are going your way. But you also need to make your own luck by getting out and trying. So in other words, you need to get out and try to find a job. Some of you Leos. Okay? See them four-leaf clovers? It's just not going to come to you. You got to get out there and make it happen. Circumstances are currently favorable for manifesting your desires. You guys need to start manifesting. And I talk about that all the time. Burning your parchment paper. You know, if you don't have parchment paper, get a paper bag and write down your shit and burn it. Take sea salt baths. You need to start praying more, too. Still, effort is required to obtain that dream house, car, dream car, perfect mate, and so on. So that's where you manifest this into your paper bag that you write in with a red marker or a black marker. But rest assured that you are on the right path and headed toward home, coming even closer to who you truly are. Okay, so the Clover's Leaf Challenge is how do I define fortune? Okay, Gypsy Wisdom, behind bad luck comes good luck. So some of you have been having some bad luck lately, but know this, that the good luck is coming, okay? Now, there's somebody that you're with that wants to role play sexually and then must have, must have you soon. Somebody wants you real soon sexually. And then the two cards that I have 
somebody is moving out of your home or you're moving out to another home or apartment condo whatever it is or you're somebody's moving out of your home your children and then you got back together so somebody moves out but then somebody's right back together again what's going on with you leo yeah because here we go with the knight of wands yep so a man is moving out he's moving on so just what my cards are saying. Somebody's moving. Um, they're changing residency. Um, then you've got the uh, three of coins. These spirits are really talking tonight, honey, with the three of coins. Somebody's sloppy with their money, or maybe this person that is leaving or you're putting them out or they're leaving, they haven't been helping you financially. Um, yeah, because there's money problems here. They're preoccupied with themselves, their ego. And there's somebody does, maybe this person don't even, they have a lack of skill. Okay, I'm going to call it like what it is. And then you, yeah, it's all about the money too, the ten of coins. So you need security too. You know, you got some family matters coming up, Leo, before the holidays or the last holiday, which is um, the New Year's. Okay. And then let's see what's going on with these two cards. Yeah, listen to your intuition about what's going on around you. And you're going in the right direction. If you put somebody out, you're going in the right direction and listen to your intuition. But here, this concerns me. They're moving out, but then you're back together again. So what's going on with you, Leo? Okay, this is Born With A Veil. God bless.